Good day, view as well. Since this motherboard's actually junk, I'm going to keep this heat sink, which is off this GPU here, and take these clips off. On solid of these little clips. And this is going to go on um, set top box north ridge. Because, yeah, they normally get hot in a set top box. And that's um, source water box. This, um, this, this, that can actually cause a set top box to freeze momentarily. So, yeah, you know, I take these little clip holders off, these sort of these, and keep it with this. Now, this had heat sink um, mat and a tough or hard to clean compound on it. The way I clean it is just got methylated spirits and a rag and just buffed it. So yeah, you see where that little mat was, the insulating mat that is, that was on that. That just came off. And you buff it with methylated spirits and the tissue. You keep buffing it until all the grease is gone and you polish it in the rag. And that's pretty clean now. I've had to bend the clips a bit for the setup box too, so having it inside the setup box like that, as it is on here, It'll keep the north bridge cool and hopefully the box won't freeze. So yeah, this might be a little bit difficult there because it's got to be a final spot in the centre box that's the side of these two, in which we're going to have to drill some holes. Okay, viewers, when I got them off, just hold the pliers and warp the board. You see where they were soldered, and they had the soldering iron on there, heating it up and pushed down, and the spring or the, the tension in the board flipped it up and popped them off, so that was pretty good. I bent them slightly, but that'll do good. Next challenge is just finding a good place in the set top box to drill through without hitting any traces on the circuit board. So yeah, this is going to be a delicate operation, so yeah. Yeah, okay, of yours, well this is this set top box, which I've already um, done previous videos on, where I um, touched up some solder and yeah. What I plan on doing, I want to replace these capacitors or, 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 or um, yeah, basically the electrolytics here. They're just generic things. Even though they're not bad, there's nothing wrong with them. I'm going to change them anyway. I'll probably change them all, except for this one because I don't have a replacement. But I'll be getting replacements for that one, that one, them two, the main filter ones, that one there, that one there, and that one there, I'll probably replace it anyway. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but I just don't trust those cheap, especially these ones. In a set of boxes, it's always the main two filter caps and the power supplies are dead which, yeah, makes the whole thing not work. But yeah, even though there's nothing wrong with them, I'm going to change them anyway, just so I can get good reliability out of this box. But yeah, this is what well, this is my heat sink, by the way, what I mean. So yeah, if I did that, I'd mark on the board where I'm going to put the holes. There's no, um, there's traces below there, underneath it, but they're not getting used. So yeah. So what I can see up here, it's safe to drill through, and on the other side there's nothing that's going to hit. So yeah, this is just a, um, I'm just going to, yeah, think about it for a while. Then one day, hopefully, it would work. So yeah, I'm marking the text where I'm going to draw my holes. Put that just poke through, and I'll solder on the other side, which in this case, this box has actually, um, happens to have uh, left, all well, this has actually got solid copper. So yeah. I've got solar copper on the other side, so all I'll do is just scratch away where they're going to solder and solder them on and they'll stick. But yeah, I won't be doing this until I get some heat sink compound. So yeah, this is just a long term thing. But yeah, because this box does get hot during operation, and yeah, that's the brains. And when the box freezes unresponsibly, I can, that's the only, thing, way to, only way to reset it is a power. They don't do anything. The on screen display will freeze. The picture will freeze. Sound cuts out and it just freezes. That's it. That's it. Nothing else happens. It's just frozen solid. The only way to reset it is if you power it on and power it off to reset it. I think it, it, that is a problem getting hot and that's causing it to freeze. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the whole point of doing this. Stick that on here. Keep this north bridge cool by drawing extra, extra heat off it. It shouldn't damage it, give it a shorter, um, a, a longer, gives it longer service life, and yeah, hopefully this box won't be freezing. So yeah, that's all for now folks, and yeah, stay tuned, and thanks for watching.